Hello, Criminal Knights students and families. This is Ms. Thompson, and I would like to take an opportunity to walk you through course selection, sign up process, how you go about finding more information, and also how you submit your course selections. Everything is done digitally. You will be getting a paper draft of your course selection sheet on Monday, January 13th but you will be submitting your final course selections online on a Google form. And I'm going to show you where to find that and how to go through the process. So thanks so much for listening. I hope this is helpful to you. We're going to start on the Klein ISD website. So this is the home page. Um, anyone could start on this page, kids. If you just want to go to student net, you can. Families, we're going to start with Family Net because this is a great place to find lots of resources to log into Schoology, Skyward, uh, PayPams, all of those things. So this is a great site if you've not been here. So after you go here, go ahead and log into Schoology. When Schoology pops up, it's going to take you to your, uh, your basic Criminal All page. And what I want you to do at this time, students and families, is go to your grade level course. So you will have your screen will look a little bit different than mine because as you know, you'll have all of your courses pop up, but you also have a grade level course, whether you're in sixth, seventh, or eighth grade. So I want you to click on your grade level course. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the seventh grade course. Once you click on your seventh grade course, you're gonna go to the materials tab. Uh, the materials tab will have a folder that says course selections for 2020, 2021. And then there's going to be some materials here for you. As you can see, mine's not published yet, but mine are there. Um, and there's a lot of materials here for you to look at. Um, I'm going to go ahead and walk you through the things that are on this page for you and in this folder. Uh, starting with your course selection sheet. So your course selection sheet is going to be attached um, and it, you're going to get a paper copy of this in your Quest class, but just so you have another copy here, this is exactly what your form looks like. It's just a draft. We are not gonna pick these up. Uh, we will get a parent signature at a later date when we verify your courses, but these are great to have printed out so you and your families can sit down and talk through the courses for next year, what's available, and make some decisions before you go in to fill in your Google form. So that will be in the uh, folder for you to look at. All right. Also in this folder is going to be your course selection presentation. Sixth and seventh graders, your presentation is going to look just like this one. Eighth graders, yours is going to look different. You have one that's getting you ready to go to high school, so your presentation will look a little bit different. And this is the presentation that you watched or are going to watch in Quest on the 13th. So this should be something that's familiar with you or familiar to you unless you were absent on the 13th. So this is a great resource to go through with your parents. It's going to talk about a day in the life of a seventh and eighth grader, uh, and then high school is a day in the life for you guys. So this is some really good information for you to go back and refer to uh, when you need it. All right, some other good information for you is our course selection dashboard. Now students and parents, this is really important. This course selection dashboard is going to have course information, course descriptions, which show you exactly what the course is gonna look like, if there's any prerequisites, maybe if there's a fee involved in the course. So when you come here, it's, it's um, a website and it's going to be divided by grade level. So my current seventh graders would look at the eighth grade tab. If you are right now in sixth grade, then you'll wanna go to the seventh grade tab. Once you go there, it's going to show you your core courses, English, math, science, and social studies, and it'll give you a description of what it, it looks like for each of those. So let's say you're thinking about English pre-AP next year. It's going to give you a description of English pre-AP, what you can expect. And some of them will have a teacher description for you as well. Eighth grade, same thing for you guys. You come in here and you look, math courses, science, social studies, 
all of the electives are also in here. All right, I wanna point out uh, eighth graders especially, there's a lot of electives. We have some new ones this year that you're gonna to wanna to check out. Uh, principles of business, marketing and financing, computer programming, and principles of law enforcement. So those are three new eighth grade courses. They are not available to seventh graders. Sorry, seventh graders, you have to wait till eighth grade, but they are available to eighth graders. Seventh graders, you've got a lot of great options too, more options than you had in sixth grade, so go ahead and check them out. They're all down here on the bottom. Um, a lot of our teachers have put in some cool videos, so if you click on these, then you can watch the videos by the teachers and see a little bit more about the class. So that's some really great information for you guys. So that's our core selection dashboard. All right, I'm gonna go back to our folder in Schoology. All right, so eighth graders, I wanna to talk to you for a second. Another great resource for you is the Promise to Purpose website. I know we've taken you to this website many times, so you should be somewhat familiar with it. Um, but parents, this is a fantastic resource for you to get more information about high school courses, graduation pathways, accelerated pathways. If you're wanting to know more about AP courses and dual credit, this is the place to go. So the Promise to Purpose website. Right over here, you'll see this course selection box. For more information, click here. So kiddos going into high school, this is gonna take you to some great information on course selection, all about pathways, advanced courses, um, profile of a successful pre-AP student, which this is good for you too, sixth and seventh graders to take a look at. If you click over here on course selection guides, high schoolers, this is gonna give you some great information. Klein Kane's got a great presentation that they loaded up here that you can look into more courses, look at the course catalog, some really fantastic um, information. So you wanna make sure that you check that out. Another place you can go, um, high schoolers, is if you go to the family page um, or the Klein ISD page and go to your high school, I'm gonna go to Klein Oak. Klein Oak is having a parent information night. They're calling it Pi Night, Panther Information Expo on Thursday, January 23rd. So you wanna make sure you check that out. If you look on their website, they've also got some information. So make sure you're just checking those things out and um, that should give you more information. I'm going to take you back now to the Promise to Purpose website because I wanna show you another great resource to everyone. In that same course selection box where you see for more information, if you look down here, you're going to see the high school course guide for current 9, 10, and 11 graders and the high school course guide for the incoming ninth grade. So current eighth graders, this is the one you want, high school course guide for the incoming ninth grade. There are some course changes, so you wanna make sure you're looking at the right course guide. So you'll click here, you can download it, print it out, write all over it. Um, this is a great resource for you guys just to hear about what the courses are, information, class fees. It's gonna show you the pathways uh, under each of the endorsements. It's a, it's a lot of really great information. So high schoolers, you wanna check out that high school course guide for the incoming ninth grade. Uh, kiddos who are gonna be in seventh and eighth grade next year, you'll wanna check out the intermediate school course guide. This is the current effective 2020-2021 course catalog. And it's gonna take you to all the descriptions of all the courses that you're wanting to know about. All right, so if I wanted to know about maybe our new course, I'm gonna hit Control F and look for computer programming. Let's see if I can find so here it brought me to computer programming. I wanted to know a little bit more about that one. So it'll tell you what grades it's available for, that you get high school credit, um, fee materials. It's gonna give you all kinds of information. So this is a great place to go if you're looking for more course information. This is the exact same information that we have in our dashboard that I showed you guys. So 
it's just this is all of the courses for all of intermediate school so it's a really great resource okay so we're going to go back to the course selection folder okay the other thing that I want to show you is your actual course selection form. So once you have sat down, you've gone through the dashboard and you've decided what courses you want to take, then you're ready to fill in your course selection Google form. This form is due by January the 27th. So you want to make sure you sit down before then, plan, think about what you want to take, and then go ahead and click on your course selection. So Again, this is for eighth graders. This is what yours is going to look like, the eighth grade course selection. But um, kiddos who are going to be in seventh grade next year, yours will look very similar. And it'll say seventh grade course selection. So once you open it up, you're going to go ahead and start. And you're going to start to fill out this form. You're going to go ahead and put in all your information. You want to make sure you put in what social studies teacher you have and what period. The reason is because we are going to submit your course selections into Skyward through your social studies class. So I'm going to visit your social studies class or your current counselor and we are going to sit down together and enter your course selections into Skyward. So that's why this is important. Then you're going to click next. All right, now you're gonna go through first and click your core academic courses. Remember your four cores or classes you're gonna take every year, ELA, math, science, and social studies. So be prepared every year you're gonna be taking those classes. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose what I'm gonna take or what maybe I would take. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna choose my English, my math, my science. Social studies. I'm going to click next. Now we're going to start on our electives. Now this is a little bit different for each grade level. Seventh graders, you will have two electives and you'll take a PE credit. And then eighth graders, you have three electives. You can still take PE and athletics if you want to. And we're going to talk about that in a minute. But you have three electives in all your eighth grade year. We'll also choose some alternate electives. All of these are required. You need to make sure you choose a different elective for each one. Don't choose the same elective five times. You need to make sure that each one is different. All right, so I'm going to put in my first elective choice. All right. Then I'm going to put in my second elective choice. Now I'm going to choose my third elective. If you are going into seventh grade, your third elective would be your PE, but eighth graders get to choose a third elective if they've already completed their PE credit. So I'm interested in taking Gateway to STEM. These are semester courses. If you notice, the semesters are paired together. So starting right here is where you see two together. It's because these are semester courses and you can choose which pairing you want. Semesters have to go together. You take one class first semester, one class second semester. So if you want a semester course, remember you, it always has to have a partner. So maybe crafts and intro to tech theater or crafts and office aid or gateway to coding and crafts. So there's with semester courses, again, they are paired together. So I've included all the pairings here for you to find the pairing that works for you. Again, if you're planning on using athletics or PE as your third elective choice, you can, you would select this one. I'm gonna go ahead and just choose Gateway to STEM. And then I'm gonna make two alternate choices. So if I don't get into one of my other ones, then I'm then I want this to be my alternate that the counselor puts me in. If I can't do that one, I'm going to choose computer programming. All right. So again, these are all choices that you've sat down with your parents, you've talked about, you've looked at the course selection dashboard and decided that yes, 
these are the classes that I want to take for next year. Once you've chosen all your electives, you're going to click Next, and you go to the Physical Education page. Again, if you're going to be in the seventh grade, you are most likely going to be taking your PE credit. All students in intermediate school are required for two years of physical education credit. So as you can see, I explained to uh, my rising eighth graders that if they've already taken two years and they don't want to take another one, that's fine. They would just say, I've already taken two years of PE and I've chosen a different elective. If you are taking PE or you are wanting to continue in athletics next year, then you can choose one of those options as well. All right, once you've done your physical education credit, you click Next. All right, the next page is going to be your parent information. So you're going to put in your parents, and if your parents are sitting there with you while they do this, they can help you with this if they want to put in theirs. Um, All schedule changes are due by Friday, May 8th. I understand that. What that means is this form is due by January 27th, but you have until May 8th to make changes to the selections that you make on this form. So if you decide in February, you're talking with parents, you decide to make a change, you can, and we're going to have a form for you to do that. But there can be no changes after... Friday, May 8th. So once Friday, May 8th comes, your course selections for next school year are locked in and cannot be changed. That's really important. That's not just a criminal thing. It is a Klein thing. So all the Klein schools have the same policy. After Friday, May 8th, we cannot make any changes to course selections. So make sure everybody understands that. Okay, so after you're done and you feel great about it, if you want to go back, you can if you're not real sure. But after you feel good about it, go ahead and hit submit. And then you're done. You've entered your course selections for the next school year. All right, so hopefully that was helpful to you guys. Um, we will be talking more about this in Quest. Of course, your counselors are available with any questions you have. Your teachers have wonderful information for you. Um, but I hope that this is helpful for you again. Look at the criminal course selection dashboard, parents and kiddos. This is a great resource for you. It's, it's basically like the intermediate course catalog, but this is all criminal courses. So it's a great place for you to go to see what courses criminal offers, a description of the course. Sometimes you can see a video of the teacher. Um, so this is some really great information. This just to show you real quick, this web this is uh, housed on our criminal counseling page. And I'm just going to take you to that real quick. So here's our criminal counseling website. Um, you can see right up here, it takes you a link to our course selection dashboard. This is another great resource for you parents. We have a lot of information on here that's helpful um, from our counseling department. So not just course selection, but other things too. So we would love for you to check it out. Just for a one last plug, Tuesday, January 21st from 6 to 8, we're going to be having our Rising Nights course selection night. We are encouraging incoming 5th graders to come at 6 o'clock and current 7th and 8th graders to come at 7 o'clock. We're going to be doing two different presentations. So we're going to start with our incoming 6th graders and at 6, and then at 7 o'clock we're going to have a presentation for our, our current 6th and 7th graders. If you're an eighth grader, you don't have to come that night. We want you to be attending the nights at your high school. So like that Klein Oak, Oak night that I pointed out, we want you to be checking out the uh, course selection nights at your high school that you'll be going to. All right, um, criminal nights, I hope this was helpful. Good luck. We're excited for you. It's going to be a great 2021 school year. We're super proud of you guys and um, let us know if you need anything.